Morning guys. Hi new folk. If you're new to my channel, there's a link up above to a playlist on Mr. Dose. Everyone else, I'm painting the panels on Mr. Dose today. At least I want to try to. I'm going to the paint booth right now. I was up until almost midnight last night because I had to do all the bodywork on the panels all over again because my hardener for the Bondo was expired and nothing cured. So I had to like wipe everything off with rubbing alcohol and then start from scratch. So as you can see, Forrester Gump's loaded up with all the panels that I redid all the body filler on. Problem is, because I had to redo it all, they still have to be sanded and blocked out now. I just got here and um, they're pushing out the little Miata truck car they built. It doesn't have reverse anymore. Blew up reverse when they were at the track with it. So I gotta bring all the panels in and get them sanded. So I'm gonna spend the first part of the day sanding and then hopefully get everything in primer by the end of the day. Oh, oh my God, this road. Poor little Miata. Oh God, it's quick. It's got really like, like V8 feeling power band. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a boosted car. Weird. It's a 1.8 in this one, right? It's not a 1.6? Yeah, this is a 1.8. Yeah, so it's a 1.8 Miata. And it makes boost in fifth gear at 1,000 RPM. That's so fun. That's like the perfect power level for something that size. Yeah, it has traction everywhere. Yeah, it didn't break loose at all. It just goes. So Fred's gonna help me out with the sanding because I have so much sanding still to do and try to shoot primer today. So he's gonna help me out so I can actually get this thing primed today. Yeah, that's what happens when you paint over bare metal. <laughs> he's sanding this front fender and just discovered that little treat. even like that. I'm gonna add a second layer of filler over these two side blade panels and then hit them up again because they need like a second round right now. They're really, they're bad. I am so thankful I have Fred help me out with this because this is quite the deadline trying to get the stuff shot with primer today. All this and these, I blocked those out, sanded them, and did two coats of filler. So now I'm just doing the guide coat process, which is kind of like, um, just like a black, like charcoal-y substance, which is gonna let me see my sand scratches and just kind of like feather out everything into 220. You can see right here what the guide coat does. I'm going over at the 220 grit and all these little black like hair marks are the sand scratches from the 80 grit that I used to cut down the filler. So that's the purpose of the guide coat. Everything else is very minimal. And then the engine cover, I just did another coat. This is now the third coat of filler on a couple areas right here that really needed it bad. So this is a fiberglass engine cover, so that's why it was a little bit more work. Fred did the front fender for me because um, he's like really, really good at this stuff. He uses wax and grease remover actually, and just kind of like coats it, mists it so it's all wet, and then you can see if there's any imperfections. Gives you kind of a, an idea of what it would look like with clear coat on it. I know I'm not really explaining everything, but I'm, I'm trying my best, you guys, to get this done and try to make a video for you. It's kind of hard.
production time. <laughs> so there you go, I got these pieces all done and I just put some wax and grease remover so I can see how this is gonna look when it's painted. And this one looks pretty good. I depleted all the batteries that I had with me, I only brought two, it was kinda dumb. But yeah, everything is ready for primer. And it's the end of the day, they're closing up. So, primer tomorrow, and that means paint will happen until Monday. So it's the next day, and um, I got here before anyone else. <laughs> Fred just got here, and uh, I'm holding the fort down because he had to run somewhere real quick. So today's goal is to shoot primer and then sand <laughs> some more. Yeah, hopefully be able to do the color on Monday. I gotta do very minimal taping. I gotta tape off the bottom right here where it's that wrinkle finish black. And then over here, I'm just gonna have to tape off the bottom of the mirror and then the mirror glass on the front. This one, the mirror glass has been removed and it's taken apart, so I don't have to mask anything, luckily, on this one. of the day going over everything again sanding doing little touch-up areas edging the fender I didn't record any of it because you guys have seen enough of me sanding and it's boring so now I'm going to do the final prep so just got to get everything nice and clean before I shoot my primer a lot of you were asking about with the air compressor when I blow stuff off before I shoot it because I'm gonna wipe it down and then I'll blow it off of air um, the air is double, triple filtered. So there's no chance of oil coming out of the air hose and getting all over the stuff that I'm painting. It's almost four o'clock right now, and I'm now just shooting primer. I spent the entire day prepping. This is with uh, two coats on the spoiler, and then two coats on the mirror, uh, two coats here. Now I'm not doing the entire thing because it's only getting worked where there was body work done, and I'm just gonna sand and feather it out just because there's no point in priming that because there was nothing done to it. So same thing over here, only primed the area that had the, the work done where I deleted the writing that was stamped into the mirror cap. And then this will get sanded and feathered out when I go to sand this. 
Uh, these side blades both have two coats on them. This one was pretty easy because it's just a big square, so it was pretty easy to shoot. I found this one the easiest so far. The Fender Fred shot for me, this is something that he showed me because there's lots of different angles and contours. You have stuff that uh, rotates this way and also has like angles on it so it was a really good demonstrative piece to show like all the different techniques especially like back inside here getting this uh, flat area shot that has an angle to it this way as well as it curves around so that was kind of tricky and then like in these areas right here where you have like little ridges where it steps down where this little uh, trim panel goes later that same evening So now we're cleaning up. Well, I shouldn't say we <laughs> Fred's cleaning up the gun. That I just used um, this is his gun that I was using for the primer This is just the primer gun. It's a SATA Jet 100 BF RP back at my house and uh, I'm about to go inside and eat. It's almost eight o'clock at night. Today was an insanely long day and I didn't even like take breaks. I literally got there this morning and worked nonstop doing prep work on those panels to get them ready. And um, I didn't have any help doing the prep work today because they had a customer's car they were doing valve stem seals on. So it was just me doing all the prep work uh, sanding and taping and wax and grease remover and just final touch-ups here and there to make sure everything was perfect before I primed it. Man, I have so much respect to people that paint cars and do bodywork for a living. It is like the average person has no idea how much work goes into painting a car. I'm just doing panels. Like doing a whole car, it's... There's so much involved in painting. It's just, I'm so amazed. And this is such a fun experience to get to learn how to do this. I'm so thankful that I'm having this opportunity to learn how to paint these cars. And it's cool that Fred and Brandon have their paint booth to rent out. So I'm renting this booth to be able to do this. And of course, Fred is an expert painter. So he's there giving me tips and really just letting me do the work and teaching me. Like he did one pass on um, the fender and one of the side blade panels showed me how to do it. Then he handed me the gun was like, here, you are doing the work. So like, I really like that, that he let me kind of like trial and error, but he didn't let me fail. You know what I mean? Like he really gave me good instruction on how to do this. Part two, Monday, I'm going to lay down the red. I'm going to go there, block it out, and uh, we'll be shooting the red paint. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye. And then that, sh oops, I almost swore, that stuff should be ready for primer.